Hey guys, God bless. This computer program's a little finicky when I'm recording um, videos for YouTube. But one thing I wanted to show you real quickly, it's going to be a very quick video. Um, I haven't seen anyone put this out and I figured I might as well show, put this out and, and show it um, since it's very significant. What you're looking at, this is the the eclipse, this isn't the ecliptic. This is the horizon right here. You can tell by the green field that's been placed into the program as the uh, you can see the sunset. This is Jerusalem. Okay. I could click on this. I, I guess I will. So it's Jerusalem. All right. Jerusalem, Israel. And what you're going to see is if I can get back. <laughs> there we go. What you're going to see is that this blood moon on the 5th and 6th occurs at moonrise what i mean by that is as the moon comes up over the horizon it will be at eclipse in other words it's going to be a red sky um it's going to be uh, very creepy looking i guess to say the least so as we back up so we're at 8 15 it's already kind of creeped up. Now you got to understand there's buildings, there's trees, there's everything else. But if we quick click on this and we center it in our program and we're going to back off our time, you know, a little bit. So we're going to go backwards until it comes up on the horizon, pretty much right here. Now the moon's already been at our feet and coming down. The moon's traveling this way along the ecliptic, so towards Scorpio right here. But as you look at this, and you zoom in, you see that the eclipse has already started because it's already tinted red. And that starts pretty much right here at the horizon, if I can, if this will cooperate with me. So we're at 719 and it's just starting to turn pink. So now that I got you kind of boxed in, you know that that's the horizon. This is the ecliptic in the yellow. Let's back off a little bit. Let's go to seven o'clock and see what it's doing. So it's seven o'clock ish. Nothing really. Kind of a little tint here. I guess as you kind of zoom in, you kind of see a little bit of a red there. But what this means is this is going to look pretty crazy when this occurs over in Israel. Now, as it continues to. I'm going to try to get it to go slow. Ah, ain't going to work. But as it continues to go over the horizon, you can see it goes to eclipse. As the moon is rising in the sky, it will be going to full eclipse. I think this eclipse is approximately two hours long. We're already at 830 and it's still blood red. Now we're coming up in 849, 50. It's getting higher in the sky and it's getting red, more red. Now you can see the shadow of the red kind of going towards the top here. It's kind of ending here at this point, but we're at 930 almost. So anyway, I just wanted to bring it to your attention that this eclipse in Israel will rise above the horizon at eclipse as a blood red moon. Um couple things to think about uh we're obviously know that time is very short right now and that's that goes without saying um i did a couple videos a while back that i think are significant to this and one was this one and the other this one obviously this occurs in libra and i quote in this video here isaiah 26 21 and um, see, the Lord is coming out of his dwelling to punish the people of the earth for their sins. The earth will disclose the blood shed on it. The earth will conceal its slain no longer. So the Illuminati's birthday happens to be May 1st. Okay, that's the general consensus. And that's listed pretty much right down right here. May 1st, 1776. Okay. And is there going to be some sort of 
Now this this kind of is misleading. This picture has some guys drinking out of a trophy here, probably from hockey or whatever. But what this is about, this is about them drinking the blood. It says wine, right? They brought the vessels out of the uh, temple in Daniel to drink out of them. And that's what ended. That's what brought God's judgment. That's what that's when he had enough. But this picture is symbolic for the blood that they're drinking out of God's vessels. Not necessarily this party champagne and everything else. That's what they were doing. But that story is symbolic. That wine they were drinking in Babylon back in that time is blood. So something tells me there will be a blood ritual on the 1st of May. And then we can see that the Lord will come out of his dwelling. Like Libra looks a lot like a tent. And you can watch that video and get into that a little bit. We also have the coronation on the 5th and the 4th, the 5th and 6th, you know, in England for Prince Charles. Um, and, you know, there's a slew of other things that happened in May. Um, I'll, you know, in the description box, there's going to be a link to both eclipses, the one on the 21st of April and this one here. Um, but I thought this was significant. I would check this out if you feel like it, but that's what brought God's judgment. That's when the writing of the wall occurred is when they started drinking out of the vessels that God had in his temple, the silver and gold vessels that were important to him. So some sort of ritual is going to take place for him to come out of his place and bring judgment. So God bless you guys. Um, I hope this helps uh, you understand uh, you know that this is this is significant for this moon to come up over the horizon already at eclipse that's um that's going to be a very frightening visual that they're going to have in jerusalem god bless you guys take care